a uh, this is a big storm. We see uh, Cuba coming up very soon, and uh, yeah, we're uh, and Cuba's uh, just above the storm in the field of view here. I'm, I'm sorry, just below. That storm is uh, doing a good job of uh, filling up the Caribbean here. Copy that, Mike. And as Mike's uh, junior weather apprentice, I concur. Okay, you can really see the uh, the structure of the storm now. It's a classic uh, pinwheel. The outer bands uh, we're over the top of the outer bands, uh, and uh, and and moving in toward the uh, toward the center. We're going to be real close to the middle of the storm. It looks like it's going to be just off of our right side, if you will, starboard side for the uh, navy folks in the crowd. And you can see how the uh, the storm is going over the islands out here. The uh, you've got the it's just the beautiful turquoise blue waters of the Caribbean, with this storm uh, just uh, blanketing it. Well, the view is uh, is spectacular from down here. I can only imagine what you're looking at, Mike and Ron. Okay, the, uh, we're, we're coming close. We ought to be able to see down the eye. It's not quite as clear uh, of an opening as we had yesterday. Uh, you can see the uh, see the structure, but it's it's not as clear. Uh, so it's right down the middle, and we, I think we're going to go close enough. We we'll get a video. You see a little bit of blue down through it. And Mike, uh, we're getting word that the storm has gone through an eye wall replacement overnight, and that is why the eye uh, looks a little different today than yesterday. Okay, copy that. Well, you could see it's uh, right in the center of the field of view right now. And of course, we've got unmatched uh, as wide as it goes with a doubler, and uh, that didn't come close to uh, giving a full view. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing, Mike. Yeah, we understand that uh, Irene is still at Category 3 with uh, the with, uh, winds at 115. There's a lot of hot water out here and a lot of people on these islands. Uh, I know they're uh, fattening down the hatches. We haven't had to deal with anything like this for a while. That's another great view, Mike.
And uh, we're just off the coast of uh, the Carolinas now in the Outer Bank area. And uh, that's the direction we understand the storm is headed. Uh, it's got a ways to go. It's clear here. There's a few, a little bit of structure in the clouds, but not much. Uh, oh, I take that back. There's thin stuff that's, uh, that's actually spiraling way out here. In Houston, uh, we're just talking here, and it, it's it struck us. We're used to traveling a, a long ways in a short amount of time, but this storm is uh, stretching from Cuba to the uh, Carolinas, and that is uh, one one uh, scary big storm. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I mean, it was almost six minutes that you guys were directly over that thing, so that just gives us a little bit of the scale. It's pretty uh, pretty incredible. And uh, Mike, they're reporting almost a 300 mile wide wind field on it, so it's uh, pretty enormous. Wow. Uh, we're, is there any word on the expectations for uh, further strengthening before uh, additional landfall? Well, Mike, right now they're still holding it at a very strong Cat 3 uh, with maybe a little more strengthening, but they don't expect it to reach Cat 4. Okay, copy that. As, uh, as wide as the uh, wind field is on this, on this storm, there's going to be, uh, I mean, they're going to take a beating for a long time as this thing, uh, uh, as this thing goes across land, as it's doing right now. So it's not, not going to be a short effect kind of thing. It's just going to really take a, take a thumping. Yeah, you bet. And uh, we'll keep you updated uh, throughout the night and into tomorrow. Copy that. Appreciate it. And uh, from the International Space Station, our uh, prayers and uh, hopes are with the uh, people who are uh, uh, hunkering down. Good luck.